talking about. Oh, that's nice. Hello there. <laughs> Hello beautiful people, welcome to some laser talk ASMR. I'm just kidding. No one wants to hear this voice in ASMR, am I right? Welcome. I am talking about the laser settings today. So I've had people reach out and comment on the channel that they have questions about settings for the machine. And I'm not sure if these are other laser techs asking or if they're clients because I, not my clients, but just people getting laser in general. I do have some clients who ask, who show interest in like the number that's on the screen, the jewels, like the power of the laser. Um, but I, I think for the most part, no one really cares about that. They just want the results. So I, I'm really not sure who this is for, but if you are interested in settings then stick around. I guess want to start by saying I use personally the Candela the Gentle Max Pro so that machine has the Alexandrite wavelength and the NDAG so when it comes to laser hair removal there's three basic wavelengths there's the NDAG there's a diode laser and there's an Alexandrite laser so that is really the wavelength so there's 755 is the Alex 8 10 I believe is the diode and 1064 is the NDAG. So some people will argue with every different wavelength, right? But for me personally, I love that this machine has both the Alex and the YAG together because that allows me to treat every skin type effectively and safely. I do feel like some people have the diode laser and in my opinion, that's just not safe or that effective for darker skin types like a skin type 5 or 6. Um, when I say skin types, I'm talking about the Fitzpatrick scale, so if you don't know what that is, look it up. It's very helpful and that's really when you're choosing laser settings, what you're always thinking about and looking at. Skin types 5 and 6, in my opinion, like diode lasers just don't do it. Those skin types just don't get effective results from the diode, like it might lower how much hair you have, the density, it might thin it out a little bit, but really in order to treat a darker skin type with a diode, you have to go lower on the settings to not burn them, and then I just don't think you're going to get the results that you want. So as far as, I mean, I can't go and tell you, okay, for this skin type, for this hair type, I would do this setting. I, I don't really like to say that because so many factors can go into that, and really what people see on the screen in my videos doesn't always necessarily depict what I see in person, um, including like skin type and hair thickness and all that. Like that's something you can't really see in the video. As a general rule for my clients, for the Alexandrite laser, I'll use it on skin types one through three, and the NDYAG usually for skin types four to six. But for me, skin type four is really an in between. So I genuinely will, will just tell people that and tell them like, hey, if you can get your skin lighter, I can stick to the Alexandrite for you, which I think generally is a little bit less painful and typically causes, I mean, typically needs less uh, sessions. So like where someone with the NDAC might need eight sessions, sometimes with the Alexandrite, really only need six so if that's a good motivator to stay out of the sun and to get as light as possible because skin types four typically tend to hold a tan really well so it might take months and months for their skin to lighten up so i feel like just saying it honestly helps people to stay out of the sun and keep that in mind i i'm in miami so for people who live here it's hard i mean it's you can't get it because looking at me, <laughs> I don't hold a tan, <laughs> but most people here are darker than I am and they'll hold a tan really well, which is beautiful, but not when you're getting laser hair removal. Uh, so I just like to be straightforward. Also going back to the diode, I my first laser hair removal job very long time ago, I used, I worked for a company that had the Light Sheer Duet by Illuminous and that was uh, like dual headed diode machine and in my two years working there I 
never once felt like anybody when they finished their package of, I don't remember what they sold, packages of six or eight, there was never anybody ever who was done fully. Whereas here I sell packages of six and I do feel like at six, not everybody's done, but I, there's definitely a good amount of people who are done or they're like almost there where they just need like a touch up after. So I definitely feel like this machine is much stronger. I'm not saying that every diode is created the same and that was a long time ago. So I'm sure there are better ones now. Um, I personally, I know that the Soprano Ice is really popular. I, I'm not a huge fan of it. I've tried it. I don't think it's as effective. And I have had a lot of people who have had packages with the Soprano Ice somewhere else then come and get a package from me because it just didn't work the same. And they'll tell me straight up after the first session, like, wow, huge difference with one session versus the package with the Soprano Ice. So I, I'm not saying it won't work on anybody, but I do think you need to be a lighter skin type and probably not have super strong hair. So... Uh, the settings, okay, so either wavelength, um, you have to keep in mind that if you're looking at my screen, like getting laser hair removal here versus getting it somewhere else, if it's not the same exact machine, you cannot compare the numbers that you're seeing because the different spot sizes will affect it. Like for example, if I'm using an 18 millimeter spot size and I'm using it on the Alex and you go somewhere else and they have the Alexandrite laser, different brand. That alone you can't compare, but say it is the same exact machine, but they're using a 15 millimeter spot size. Again, can't compare because say I'm using 12 joules on an 18 millimeter to get the same power on a 15 millimeter, I would have to automatically go up in joules. Uh, so there's a lot of things that can affect the numbers that you're seeing. Um, also the milliseconds is the timing so say those same 12 joules i'm doing it on 20 milliseconds uh, that means that that amount of power is delivered in 20 milliseconds whereas if i change the timing to 10 milliseconds that same amount of power those 12 joules are being delivered in half the amount of time in 10 milliseconds which sounds like nothing but can make a big difference when it comes to laser hair removal so those are just some examples I'm not sure what other questions people had. I mean, most people just ask very general questions. So I guess if there's anything else that I didn't touch on that you're interested in finding out about settings or just laser in general, leave it in the comments. Let me know somehow, send me a message. I'd love to hear it and address it later. And please subscribe. And yeah, thank you for watching. I hope that this helped and has answered some of your questions. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and follow us on Instagram at Parlor Miami for daily updates.